presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. This is awesome. Uh, come on, Tarley Vu. We're going over to Paris. What's happening? Hey, Tom. It's Adam from Paris. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, Adam. Yourself? That's good. Long time no talk. I appreciate everything you've done for me and my family over the years. So well, We appreciate uh, you growling question. problem with us. Yeah, 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 sir. I've done gold reports and all the softwares and all your books and read it. Generational thank you. you are, seminars, thank uh, you so much. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, Whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make a great week, folks. Don't take anything personally. Transform your life. When you refuse to take things personally, you avoid many upsets in your life. Your feelings of anger, jealousy, and even sadness will simply disappear if you don't take them personally. Nugget wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 31, NASDAQ down 39, S&P's off two and a half. Gold, gold contract up $8.70 trading at 19 dollars an ounce. We have the silver market up $0.14, cents, $25.42 an ounce. Light sweet crude up $0.89, cents, $78.76 a barrel. Notes and bonds. A 10-year note up 12 ticks trading $114.27. The 30-year up 27 ticks at $130.24 in King Dollar. King Dollar is down 453 ticks trading $101.369. The euro is at $110. The yen is at 134, and the British pound is at 124 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, let's bring the future up first. So you got a small consolidation out here. We take a look at this. You, you don't have a high volume low, you know, so we, bottom line, you, you, you came down to, this afternoon, I mean, this morning with volume, you know, this thing's sticking out here and that's, it's a consolidation. It's a small consolidation. That's the bottom line. We'll see how this, that baby shakes out. It doesn't seem to have enough juice to get back up and over this, uh, 4152, uh, 57, 4157. It's going to test it right now. We'll see if they get any juice to get it. So bottom line, you got to sell it right off the bat. There's no doubt about that. The, the first seller that came in, Came in about quarter past 10. That's big volumes down on the way down. It was 61,000 on the way down. As you're going back up, it was at 29,000. This bar is coming into it with uh, 17,000. Yeah, and you only get a minute left. So we'll see. We'll see how that baby shakes out. The thing that's intriguing out here today, folks, is this: is that the dollar? You know, we, we've been going tick for tick for the dollar and the S and P. Um, and the bottom line is that that changed intraday out here today because you can see what happened they're still selling the dollar all the way down we're almost at the lows of the day 101.332 is the low of the day and the market hasn't been able to basically get any traction so we'll see where that shakes out you know you're coming into the well not strength of the dollar but where the dollar took off from at the low that was established out here in january that number is the 101.546 we hit 101 well, we're at 101.332, so bottom line is that, uh, you, you know, you're under that, that number. So we'll see how this shakes out. Gold, gold's the same way, man. Gold coming into the downdraft. We take a look at this intraday, what you're going to see from three days ago. For that, yeah, three days ago. You're going to see you're coming right into that big downdraft. And that downdraft has uh, 13,000 contracts. And all the contract value on the way up, the biggest one we have is 2,700 kind of going into that. So that's going to take a while to basically eat through that area. We go into the queues. We take a look at the queues. Same setup in the queues. We, 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 there's a very large contraction of volume today, folks. And there's not a reason for it. I mean, this is not summertime trade, man. <laughs> you know, this is, this is, in fact, this week here, there's more earnings than this is the biggest earnings week in the S&P 500, so there's not a reason for it. 
Um, that being said, you know, if the queues can't close today over that 317.40, which we've already been over it, uh, but it gave it up, that, that's a heads up big time that you're going to go south. We had 33 million shares out here. You're going into 59 million from Friday. If we take a look at this, you're going to see it's coming. This is just having a tough time coming into the downdraft from this morning. The first, the first leg up had uh, 750,000 shares coming into the 1.3 million. This leg here, yeah, this is still on. No, this just started. The leg before it had 450,000 going into 700. Yeah, going into that uh, big number, that that 1.3 million shares. So I suspect, it, you know, it's going to have a tough time getting through that. We then take a look at the um, leaders inside the NDX 100. You got Zoom is up 3%. You got, uh, what is this? Baker Hughes is up uh, 2%. FANG, which is uh, Diamondback Energy, is up 1.8%. Uh, Taken away from it, Pindo Odoo is off 4.5%. You get JD off 2.8%. Micron's off 2.5%. Inside the Dow Industrials, we take a look at the strength. The strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. Point-wise out here, you have United Health putting 33 positive points, Goldman 22, Chevron 20. Taken away from it, Microsoft minus 27. You got Salesforce minus 25. You get American Express minus 18. If we go in the note and bond market, this one's going to get intriguing now because you, you don't have enough juice. There's not enough volume here, but it's holding out in price. You only got 713,000 contracts. But bottom line, and you know, this wants to go for the highs again. And also, we have the... Higher price, lower yield. Right now, the 10-year is yielding 3.5. Uh, Last three months, the low's been 3.3. The high's been 4. Let me just see what this is, how we've done this for a year yet. Look at the year. It's still 2. So the year is 2.5 to 4.2. Check that out, right? And six months is 3.3. See how we're getting closer now? So six months. We've been up here for a while. We're at 3.5. And the last six months, the low has been 3.3, the high 4.2. You know, so in one way you look at it, we're seven tenths lower, and another way you can look at it, we're two tenths higher. You know, it's going to be. And, is, it is, and by the way, what was going on with the the short end of the curve? Uh, the amount of short positions are huge, are absolutely huge. So we'll we'll see which way that wants to go. Some of the higher volume equities out here, and this is going to be a low volume market. And we'll see whether it can... Oh, First, First Republic. This is going to be awesome after the close out here today, folks. First Republic, that's the, you know, they haven't been able to <laughs> uh, find someone for that yet, but they're going to be coming out with their numbers after the close. That's trading $15.71. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials uh, trading up 58. NASDAQ is down 36. S&P is up one and a half. Stay right there. Come back with our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, folks. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is right now down 40, up 47. NASDAQ is down 42. S&Ps are flat. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve does an outstanding show right here every trading day, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. Also, it's a great newsletter, a mastering probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. You see it on the right-hand side. You see Master and Probability. You just hit that button. You hit subscribe. You can get Master and Probability for one month for $149. Six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And one year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593.33. Now, when you get it, folks, bottom line, not only going to get a great newsletter, but Steve has a huge amount of other information out there that he sends to his subscribers each and every day. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Game time, baby. 7.30. Yes, it is game time. I know. that We got that big, goal last night or the night before. Was it last night? Yeah, yeah it was last Two night. nights ago. Two, Two nights, nights ago. ago. Got right. crushed. La last night, it was our turn for your Bruins to, you know, kick a little yes. South Florida butt, so to speak. Yeah. Um, Yes, the Bruins are. Uh, they're they're always such a good team. You know, you've 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 had for most of your lifetime, I think you've had a pretty good team to root for, haven't you? We have, because even when I was a kid, when I was a kid, that yeah, I mean, that's when that's when the you know Montreal and Toronto were great, but the Bruins yes. could fight. <laughs> yeah, oh, absolutely, yeah, and uh, at Marchand. I, so I picture you as a hockey player, kind of being like Marchand. You know, just this tough guy out there who's always in the right place to score a goal, it seems like. Yeah, uh, well, you know, it's so funny. But that's when it was player. so long ago. I was a defenseman, and that didn't even make any sense. But I could box, so I could fight. So, And what happened then, folks, Peewees could fight. That's what's so crazy. That, true, that's how true. it was. It was yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Crazy. Well, I looked, I looked to see, just in case you don't have a ticket, they're going for between two and 300, you know, for the for the good seats out there. So just in case you want to catch that. That's game. not bad. Yeah, right. Uh, no, it's right. really Really, yeah. not not that bad of a price, but I'll, I'm sure I'll be watching it and snoring by the uh, third period. I but. listen, I know, man. I was <laughs> the other so night. Tough. I I was starting, but I was I had it loud enough that I could hear the whole thing. That I heard the goal. I said, I can't believe this, man. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, well, well, you know that that becomes hard when you're getting to overtime. Yes. <laughs> you know because right. now you and I were and we were both. I'm up, you know, five something. Exactly. In the morning, and so we're both like, oh my God, we've made it this far. Right. Do I just shut it off? I know, you know? man. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. But hey, look, you mentioned there's a lot of useful information inside the Mastering Probability Newsletter. I thought we'd start the, the session uh, by taking a look at what some of that information is, just so that our listeners and viewers, you know, can see that. So 
Tom, below is a, is a current market outlook for the daily and the weekly timeframes. And, and these are for the equity futures, for index ETFs, the sectors of the S&P 500. Subscribers uh, get the, uh, this daily. Now, this is a, a condensed version of what they get. But what's nice about this for, for just for every individual is you, you're able to pick up the newsletter. And let's just say you're trying to understand what's going on inside the spies. What is it? Um, you know, what does mastery and probability uh, identify as its current outlook. And here you'll see that it shows for the daily time frame, it's in a consolidating bull. And for the weekly time frame, it's bullish. Same thing with regard to the ES mini. So if we go over and we take that just to try to tie this together here, uh, the market conditions that are required for what I referred to as a consolidating bull, there's three things, and these are all listed inside the newsletter. So it's very easy to follow along with a, a chart and, and the outlook that we have. So for a consolidating bull, and in here, I tell people that if you have an instrument and for that time frame, if that's your primary time frame and you have a consolidating bull, that you should continue to hold uh, that stock. And this requires a price oscillator to be above zero. Well, when this green and red line, Tom, on this chart here, when it's green, it tells us the price oscillator is above zero. So that's the first check. The second is prices trading below the oscillator and change line. Well, that's also that green and red line. So it was doing that when I took this snapshot. Yes. And then number three, it needs to be trading with inside the profile. I refer to it sometimes use the word box, uh, even though it doesn't necessarily, it's not a, a total box because there's no lines on the left or right hand side. So it needs to be trading with inside that profile. So this is what makes up a consolidating bull. If we take a look at what makes up an instrument that's just bullish, well, the price asset is above zero. Now, this is for the weekly time frame that we're taking a look at. So here, that green, that, that red green line had turned green last week. So we have that condition. Price is trading above that oscillator and change line, which it is doing. And price here is all also trading with inside this uh, this box. So in a snapshot for uh, primary instruments, uh, people are able to go and see exactly what their instrument is doing for their time period. So this market analyzer here, Tom, this takes a look at the top 10 weighted instruments with inside the Dow, the S&P, the NASDAQ, the Russell, the semiconductors. So all the primary stuff nice. that folks will call us about uh, trying to understand, you know, what's an instrument doing. And here, what I've done is I've broken these down. We show, well, I show both the, the daily, the weekly, the monthly, a 15 minute time frame, a 30 minute time frame, a 65 and the 130. And then what I also show are the other signals that are associated with that instrument. Is it identifying a potential top or a bottom? Uh, a Rhodes Mentum indicator top or bottom? Is it uh, generating a potential TD9 count? And the TD9 count, what folks will pay attention to, Tom, are the ones that have stars next to them. Because if it's got a star next to it, it's telling you that it qualifies as either a top or a bottom. It also provides the, the, the current uh, Chapman wave uh, counts. Uh, different levels of support or resistance, whether it's the oscillator and change line, which we referred to, or the TD9 count support or breakdown resistance levels, or just simply the TAS market profiles that you and I looked at. And it just also provides the information when it was the last TD9 count top and the last TD9 count bottom. So subscribers receive this information and in a heartbeat. They can go take a look at, you know, what's Google doing? It's in a consolidating bull for its daily time frame. It's a consolidating bear for its weekly time frame. And it's a breakout for its monthly time frame. So it really kind of speaks to the market that we've seen here. Just that one instrument, it's fairly choppy out there, right? We've got a yes. different signal for the daily, a different signal for the uh, the weekly chart out there. This market analyzer here, Tom, this is provided in the uh, end of day reports that I produce. And this is really great for those folks that are managing their IRAs or their 401ks. Uh, these are the wealth management portfolios, the typical wealth management portfolios that are used. And so I give two different ones out there. The bottom one's actually one that came from with inside uh, TD Ameritrade. And what they had suggested, and a breakdown between U.S. equities, foreign equities, fixed income, you know, in other categories. So this is really great for those folks managing their 401ks. This market analyzer is a review of the top 60 companies by market cap here in the United States. And if you just take a look at the daily time frame for these, you're not going to see a ton of them that are bullish at this moment. So that really speaks to our market as well. Uh, here's a market analyzer that provides, and this is what uh, folks get each morning. So this is the big morning report, shows you exactly where instruments are trading, what their current market conditions are. And then in addition to that information, I also summarize, so they get this snapshot each day, telling them for each instrument for their daily time frame, so that's gold, silver, copper, crude oil, T-bonds, T-notes, uh, the ES, the NQ, the YM, the Russell 2000, and what's going on inside the US dollar index out there, as well as market breadth statistics. The ES mini is forming a new profile 
And that's on the upper left-hand side. And what you should notice here is that those the new profile, Tom, is contained with inside the older profile. That typically means that what we should prepare for is further consolidating markets out there. So that's just a brief overview of what's contained inside the uh, newsletter. One last point you had mentioned, hey, the market should be higher today with the U.S. dollar index being lower. This chart here takes a look at that correlation. And what we can see here, Tom, in that yellow rectangle area, that inverse correlation is starting to go away. And that's what this chart, and this is over a five-day average. So it's not the same way with regard to gold. Here we can see in gold, that inverse correlation still exists. But with regard to the Yes Mini, it's starting to wane. So I wonder what that means. And listen, folks, it's very easy. Get all that information. Come over to our website at TFNN. Go to News Letters. You're going to see Master Imperability right on the right-hand side. Steve, have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thanks, Tom. Take Thank care. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. .com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials trade up 53. Nasdaq's down 41. S&P's a flat. Let's go to our man, Frank in Gloucester. Frank, what's going on, brother? Hey, how you doing, Tommy? Nice to talk to you. And you also, man, are you enjoying that spring up there? Well, it's coming hard, but it's getting there, yeah. Uh, you know, get the cool weather crops in the garden. Okay. Hey, listen, yeah. I gotta. I have to ask you, do you watch Wicked Tuna? Once in a while, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm hooked on it, man. I'm so hooked on it. The, uh, <laughs> yeah, the merchandise am. store is right down the street. Is it? Uh, okay. Yeah. I love yeah, it. Yeah, you want a hat or something? No, no, that's all right. I just, I just, I just, I love fishing anyway. But yeah, they would have, yeah. they had a, um, what do you call it? When one after the other after the other, they had one yesterday that just started and went through like three or four years. It was awesome. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, those guys are rough old dudes. Yeah, there's you. no doubt, man. Hey, that's, we know getting out there, going out that far, man, heavy duty. Yeah. Okay, so yep. we're going to look at, um, 
McEwen, McEwen, right? M U X. Okay, yeah. so. Well, so I two- hear you. You know, the gold is in for a dip here, but uh, I see McEwen at a nice three eight two, coming back on low volume right now off the uh, February low. Yeah, so I just still wait a bit here. You know. Well, yeah, well, I'm in it. I'm, I'm in it. But. You're in it? Okay, then, you know, you're probably going to take some heat here. Um, see that big sign yeah, of strength uh, that we had there that from, like, the 735 to 837 area? Sure. I yeah. suspect it's going to try to dig into that, Frank, and it could get to the bottom oh, of that. Think? You know, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, oh, it, boy. It, it's held pretty good at the top right now, but this looks to me like... How can you... Uh, it, this looks bullish to me. I mean, what, what makes you say that? Because the the gold market itself is running into monster resistance, and the dollar is down good today, and gold's not getting traction. Okay, all yeah. right. You know, so I'm, I'm with you. That's where the there's a dis there's a disconnect that's coming out here today. So yeah, and in MUX, you know, the the bottom line is that. You know, you come, well, here, yeah, so what has happened now, no, now, Newmont was good, then it was a dog, and then, you know, the bottom line, yeah. you can see it's already, Newmont's already into that bar, the same bar, and that's where I'm going also, you know. Can you take a look at one more? Yes. OR, it's, it's another gold, and it's a, uh, oh, what do you call it? Uh, what? It's not a minor, it's a royalty. What's the symbol? Uh, OR. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, ah. Uh. Oh, yeah, okay. So the lows, nine, 19, the highs, 17. Yeah, this takes in about 58 million a quarter. This is holding up good. Yeah, this is holding up good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this is interesting, you know. Let me put this on a monthly. I'm curious as to what this looks like. Look at that. It's taking all. Let me pull this back more. It's taking everything out. Yeah. Yeah. I can't see this dropping too much. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't either. I, I mean, it could get to the, the top of that last last month was about $15.60 or something. But this is a yeah. this is a pretty large breakout, man. I mean, I'm... I don't know what's going on with the equity, but this is a valid breakout, top side. Yeah. Yeah. So let me see this for a second. So just curious I can find out where they No, I see. Okay, this this spread out. Okay, so they get well yeah, see this is this is nice when this happens. So what happens is that most of the bread is made in the United States. Not well, North America. So it's going to be yeah. Canada and the United States, which is great, you know. So, yeah, that's a strong, that's a strong stock, Frank. There's no doubt. I mean, if you look at any of those other royalties, that I mean they they're back down. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Oh yeah, I know it. You know, and you know, my my take is that yeah, we're going to go higher, but it looks to me like it just can't happen at this particular point. <laughs> so it's like, okay, when? You know what I mean? So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I got one hold and one sell. Thanks. Okay, man, you have a great one, a safe one. <laughs> All right. Let's Bye -bye. go take a look at uh, Microsoft first because Microsoft, Microsoft and Google are going at it in a big way, folks. Okay, uh, Microsoft's backing down slightly out here today. Nothing much. It's kind of doing a round, little hushu round. Google. That rejected lower price. So Google does want to get up to this, uh, what is that, One, 108 is the top, 108.68. Um, what you did have out here today is intraday, if you want to see something, how bottom line is that uh, Fox got rid of Tucker, Tucker Carlson today, which is their number one deal. And now you get an ABC down. So you have two different things happening. So Fox had to come up with 673 million. They figured they're going to be coming up with another 700 million because there's another suit that's out there. And market cap wise, they just lost. They lost a lot. What did they lose out here? 
Yeah, they erased another 600 million in value and you got an ABC structure down. Now, simultaneously, CNN fired Don Lemon. So maybe we'll get some sanity in the news. I'm not quite sure why that one went down, but the, the Tucker Carlson was an easy one. Um, who wants to pay $1.4 billion for a lion? So on Fox, you get an ABC down. $37. What is that? It's not, it's not that big. Five, it's a five buck ABC down. Uh, well, that gets you 29 bucks. And you get a high volume low at 29.26. Let me put this on a monthly, actually. So your first leg, yeah, your first leg there's about 29 bucks, 29, 28 dollars. And we'll see where the whole rest of this is going to shake out. But uh, bottom line, I, I suspect both of those guys are in shock out here today. It'd be interesting to see where, uh, you know, because they. In, in Fox's case, folks, that that he overtook Kennedy, so he's the number one deal out there. So I'm not sure, you know. Yeah. Anyway, you, you get the gist of it. It's pretty intense. Then, and that market cap came right off the top. We go take a look at the. Let's go take a look at the silver market. So silver. What's intriguing here, folks, is that, and this is where. It's not that they're they're at highs, but right now. Silver is at the high end of the silver gold ratio, and I'm, I'm saying and that's the modern silver gold ratio. We're at eighty to one right now. Eighty ounces of gold, a silver equals one ounce of gold. So you know that fluctuates in a big way, and we'll see where this is going to shake out. What you have out here today, silver's. It went to lower price, so you can really say it's rejected lower price at $25.05, and right now it only did 32,000 contracts. So that's saying that silver's still pretty strong, versus, you know, gold is trying to get higher, and that's trying to get higher, and your volume is contracting too much. You know, right now, what you have in the, in the gold market is, yeah, it's only 134,000 contracts. Well, the bottom line, we came down with over 200,000. So... That needs more juice as it's going higher. Dow, Dow Industrials right now, 44, Nasdaq's down 42, S&P's off one and a half. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Let's go take a look at uh, Biogen. So uh, what you have out here this week, I guess uh, one of our targets are telling us that the uh, FDA is going to be looking at this ALS drug. Uh, so the low for the year is 187. The high is 311. Now, when you look at this chart, what you're going to see is that Biogen has been all about this ALS drug because you're going to see that you got up to highs, you've crashed. Now, that being said, this does have a high volume high at four, what is that, 468? You know, so when you have high volume highs, they like to be tested, you know? I mean, in the same month, it went from, check this out. I mean, you're talking about 468 down to 264 and closing out at 346. You know, so the consolidation's still on. But let me bring this a little bit closer and see what we got. Let's see what we have. You know, when I bring this closer, it doesn't tell me much. It really doesn't. It's, you know, you're over. It popped again when... I can't add some news that went from that 194 to the 283. But that's throwing the dice. There's no doubt about it, you know. But guess what? That's what biotechs do. Uh, we go over to Amazon and we take a look at Amazon. So Amazon right now, the low for the year is 81. The high is 146. Now, what just happened on Amazon, Amazon, they, the drive is out in uh, Palmdale, California, just are the first drivers in the Amazon space that uh, now they're part of the Teamsters Union. Uh, only 84 drivers, but that's going to be a start, folks. That's the bottom line. You know, you're going to, that's a start. There was, there was big battles out there to get that going. So we'll see how that, that not, I, I know how it's going to shake out. It's gonna, <laughs> there's going to be more Teamsters drivers um, in Amazon in general, because, you know, it took them about three or four years to win that whole deal. But I expect you're going to see more of it. It's not, it's not affecting the stock out here today, though. Oil. Let's go over to the oil market and we take a look at the oil market out here. CL. Okay, so the oil contract right now trading up 88 cents. Look at that. It has, so this hasn't closed the gap yet. It, 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 really, it almost got there. It, Friday it got to 76.72 and the gap is 75.83. So I expect you're going to see that closed. If we take a look at the XLE inside the energy market out here, that, has, that volume is way too light today. 10 million. ExxonMobil Like some always got some juice behind it here. Yeah, that has and that has a high volume high with volume on it. That's at the the one nineteen sixty two CVX Chevron. Yeah, we'll see what that can do. Oh. 
Let's go into that housing market and see how this is laying out. So Toll Brothers, the low for the is 39, the high 64. This is laying at highs, man. This gets interesting. Let me bring this back, though. I want to see this thing. Okay, so, whoops. It's too far. Go this way, no. Okay, so. I see. So when we take a look at Toll Brothers from the highs to the lows, it did a 0.618 retracement. We coming into monster volume from the highs. That looks like to me it's going to start topping out. If we go to Home Depot, yeah, this is having trouble getting. What's what's interesting, folks, the so picture, yeah, Home Depot's coming to flack from all the way over to May um, of last year. And what, what happens, you know it's so intriguing, so picture this, uh, what does happen is that when you go for a, a CO, occupancy permit, right, for a building, right, now I'm strictly talking about St. Pete, but I can tell you that the correlations that are out there. So the way the regulation is in St. Pete is that once you get all the finals, okay, for the, for the homes, right, they have to give you the CO within five days. Now, what has happened the last, let's say, two to two and a half years, I was getting them on the fifth day. That's how busy they were, right? So we're just finishing up a home that I'm delivering tomorrow, no, Friday. And what ends up happening? Bottom line, we went for it on Friday, and we haven't getting it today, right? So what does that say? That says, which I suspected, that things are basically, now this is where the lag is. The lag is definitely, you know, like almost seven months to a year, but that lag is there. That's the bottom line. I wouldn't be getting the CO in one day. That's just how it works. So, you know, the underlying deal, and now I'm going to bring this right to the interest rate structure. And that's where it has to do with the interest rate structure because the fact of the matter is these rates have been going up for a year, so there were plenty of starts. Even though the starts still look good across the country, there's plenty of starts that are not starting. Or if they're starting, they're stalling, and they're not going in for the CO because the fact of the matter is that it's, backed, it's not back down. You know, So this, that always gets cool in the, in the context that number one, you can look at the market and see what it's doing, and then actually factually look at the market as to what it is doing and where the lineup comes in. You know, because you wouldn't know that if you looked at all of St. Pete right now, and there's cranes everywhere. You know, so you know the the interest rate structure has definitely hit. Um, now, now it hasn't. What it, what it hasn't done is. Really, it's backed off on prices a little, but not backed off on prices along Central or First, or, you know, places that are downtown. You know, and the reason is that we still do have so many folks coming in from across the country, and this is still a very, not a very small number. It's a much smaller number, though, than what folks are used to, whether they're from Chicago or Boston and New York, you know, you, know, you, you get the gist of it, okay? Um, you know, so it's, it's really intriguing watching this whole thing shake out. And what has happened is that there's still plenty of folks with cash that are buying with cash in the, the aspect because the market hasn't moved much. So picture what people are doing. They look at the aspect of, okay, we're going to come in with half because I've had this happen. I, in fact, this is happening to the one I'm closing Friday. Um, the guy was going to finance it. It didn't matter to me because he was putting so much down. And then, but guess what? Because the market hasn't done anything, he's going to—he just sold some of the market to pay all cash. So it's—it's it's, all those dynamics are taking place right now because of that interest rate structure. Dow Industrials right now up 39. Nasdaq's down 39. S&P's a flat. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome, folks. Dow, Dow Industrial is up 51, NASDAQ down 39, S&P's a flat. You got a sideways move out here today, folks, and the uh, volume is going to be really light, man. Uh, let's see. So you got, look at this. This is sick. You're, you're at 460 million in the NYSE. That means we're going to do like 600 million. This market's going south, man. And NASDAQ 4.4. That's not bad. NASDAQ's not bad. So there's some, NASDAQ will do 4.8. Let me see where it's at. Hasn't been able to hold price, though. And if we go into the, ETF structure, take a look at the Qs first. That's not going to close over the high, and you get uh, it's 39 million shares versus 59 million right now with a uh, few minutes left. And to the SPY, you're going to have the same type of setup. That might get it, though. The SPY needs uh, 412.68. Well, you're 412.23. Doesn't look like it's going to make it. Right now, you do it 52 million, and we had 75 million on Friday. You know, so this is a market. This is a market. Well, it's a consolidation. It's going sideways, but it, 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 the subtleness of it is this, folks: is that when you do get over a high on Friday, you close underneath it. You have that type of contraction of volume. It's telling you there's no buyers. That's how that shakes out. When you get no buyers and you close underneath it, guess what? The pressure is going to be to the downside versus the upside. 
after the closeout here tonight, it's going to be First Republic. Everyone's going to be watching First Republic to see what type of loss they have and what they're going to basically cough up. You know, we'll see. It's amazing that they're still out there, meaning, and what that tells me is that there's huge money, meaning other banks. We know that there's other banks that are involved inside of that. Uh, but that's, I suspect, one of the main reasons it hasn't gone south yet. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Go get them, folks.